wicked idea to make sure you have a good morning. Coming right up on Weekend at the Cottage. Welcome to Weekend at the Cottage. I'm Nick Winojevic. I apologize for how I'm dressed. I'm not supposed to be doing this video today. Uh, we're doing a city slicker video, which is our little short one minute videos. And we're in the middle of shooting this and Carol and I were like, you know what? We should post this as a full story because it's so fantastic. If you've never been here before, click up here to view our city slicker playlist. Watch all those one minute videos. But instead, front and center is something we've now determined you really need to know about. This is a beautiful grilled grapefruit you're gonna to want to make for yourself and everyone else you love. People coming up for the weekend, serve this up. All will be amazed. Principal ingredient is grapefruit. When you head to the store, you're looking for, you can do this with white. I want those beautiful, juicy, pink grapefruits. I have three grapefruits, so when you cut them in half, you'll be serving uh, six people. You need one tool to do this recipe, a grapefruit knife. And the grapefruit knife is unique because it has a curved setting which allows us to go in and go all the way around the fruit once we cut it in half. And then this little wonderful gizmo on the flip side, which is actually two knives together, which then allows us to cut in between the segments. Before we start the recipe, we cut grapefruits in half, we trim around, and then we cut those segments so that when we take the grilled grapefruit out of the oven, people just take their spoon, they dip it in, and take a beautiful segment of grapefruit with no problem. Once you've prepped your grapefruit, transfer them onto a parchment lined baking sheet, and then we need to make a little salt and salt and really fabulous to boost the flavor of this glorious fruit. This is so not complicated. We have about a tablespoon of maple syrup into a small bowl, one teaspoon ground cinnamon, a quarter teaspoon of salt, salty, sweet, and spicy. Are you, are you feeling me right now? Mix that up into a bowl. We brush the top of the grapefruits, each one with this beautiful mixture. Your oven rack is in the top position. Your oven is on broil. Place the grapefruit in and then just watch. It'll take a few moments for them to get nice and brown and bubbly. You have a few moments here, so why not chop up a little bit of fresh mint? Your grapefruit will come out of the oven. They are fragrant and beautiful and bubbly. Brush with a little bit of that beautiful topping and then you have the chopped mint you just did. Sprinkle the top of each grapefruit with the chopped mint. Take a little sprig of fresh mint. We're gonna add that right into the center and you have a very beautiful thing ready to be enjoyed. You should serve straight away. Expect a phenomenal taste sensation. Look, the little segment came out nice and clean. It's very flavorful. My mouth always waters when something really good is coming at it. Okay. Nothing to say. Make it. Enjoy it. I love you. You're welcome. Looking for other great recipes and ideas? Head to weekendatthecottage.com. Remember, sign up for our newsletter. Also subscribe to our dedicated YouTube channel. Click for notifications. Drop us some comments. Give us a thumbs up when you like our videos. I know you like those videos. And then finally, have a chat with Carol Bogazzi, our head of social media. She's manning our social media platforms, Pinterest, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Good morning on a plate, all yours. Hope you enjoy.